Hi, it's James. I'll show you how to use the filter brush tool I've been working on for this new version of Affinity. It lets you apply filters non-destructively and selectively by brushing onto areas of your image. Let me show you some examples of how to use it. First, I'm in the Pixel Studio, which contains the tool. But you can add this tool into other studios if you wish. I'll select it. Then on the Context toolbar, I can choose from a selection of filters. I might want to add some motion blur to parts of this dancer cutout. I'll choose motion blur, then select the dancer layer on the layers panel. I'll zoom in, and as I hover over the layer, I'll see a preview of the effect. I'll then click drag and paint over the areas where I want to apply the motion blur. After brushing, I can click on the edit filter button up here to open the filter dialog, which will let me change the filter parameters. You can use a keyboard modifier to toggle the default parameters that are applied for each filter. As an example, I'll select the Celestial 1 layer here, then switch the filter to Bloom. Bloom has two different methods, Contrast and Bright. By default, the Contrast method is used, which perhaps doesn't give me the effect I'm after. I can hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows to switch to alternative parameters, which uses the Bright method, and this is much more suitable. Once I start painting, the filter will be created with the alternate parameters, and I can let go of Command or Control. Multiple filters can also be stacked onto the same layer. I'll switch back to the Dancer layer, and change the filter to Glitch. I'll now see a second combo box, allowing me to choose the Glitch method. I'll choose Blast, then start painting over these areas. Now, if I apply the filter inadvertently to areas I meant to avoid, I don't need to switch to a separate Erase tool to correct this. I can just hold down Option on Mac, Alt on Windows to switch to Erase mode, then Paint Away to remove the filter from various areas. Finally, because using the number keys with a brush tool selected will change the brush opacity and not the layer opacity, there's a shortcut to achieve this as well. I'll hold down the Shift key, then press a number such as 7, and this will change the layer opacity to 70%, although I think I'll settle on 50%. And there we go. That was a quick look at the filter brush tool. Thank you for watching.